Hello guys and very welcome to my tank project that I now have been working with for around two months and now it's ready. It's finished and I will just show you what I have come up with here. So uh, I have now filled it up with water, bleed it out all the air and the stuff is connected. All my radiators are connected and all the pumps and also the control system. Sadly, I couldn't use this old lad mod that I have here. It was not working the way that I had hoped for. So I have now built my own control system with help of some ESP devices and home assistant. I will show you that in a few minutes here. And then of course we have the fresh water that will go in via this pipe here and into a 20 meter stainless coil in the lower section of the tank. It will then be preheated and then come out from this pipe here and turn in again in this upper section of the tank and here it will be heated for real. So it will come out from this connector here and up to this thermostat. So this will now mix the hot water with some cold water so we don't have a temperature over 60 degrees out to my system in the house. Just for safety. And then we have the electrical stuff here. This is the old charging system that uh, checks the temperature inside of the tank and also at the stove. And then it uh, will start the charging pump that will send the heated water from the stove into the tank. But sadly, this was not working the way that I had hoped. It was built for another system, so I had to come up with my own one here. Uh, I'm now controlling the pumps here instead via home assistant. So what I have done here is that I have installed two temp sensors as you can see. I have one here in the very top and one in the upper midsection here. I will then have one in the lower midsection and then have one in the bottom of course. But I have ordered two more but they have not showed up yet. So here is one of the sensors. It is looking like this. This is a Dallas sensor. Very very cheap. You can buy around five of them for around 10 euros or something. Really, really cheap. So four sensors into the tank here, and then I have one more in the top of my stub. So when the temperature now starts to raise in the upper section of the stub, that signal will go into one of those ESP devices, a small microcomputer that I have here. So what this now will do is that I have programmed this so it will now send the information via Wi-Fi to my home assistant. So I then can see all the temperatures here in my computer or in my phone. Really, really nice. And then with help of two relays, two Shelly relays like those, I have uh, two of them inside of this box. And those Wi-Fi relays are then controlling both the circulation pump here and then the charging pump to my stub. So when the stub now reaches around 75 degrees centigrade, then it will start the charging pump and we start to circulate the water in those pipes here. And then when the temperature of the water is reaching 70 degrees, one thermostat in the charging system here will open and then the water will start to circulate into the top of the tank here and leave the energy from the top here and down. And we are now slowly charging up or heating up the tank. And uh, we can also see that in Home Assistant I have a little graph here for you. You can see now I have just lit up the stub and you can see that the orange line here starts to raise. And soon after that you can see this uh, yellow line that are the middle high sensor or middle high part of the tank. Uh, it, the temperature there is now also start to charge. And then I will of course, as I said there in the beginning here, have two more sensors so I can follow the whole heating system of the tank here up and when all four sensors are showing that same temperature that I know that I will not 
uh, throw anything more into this down there because if I do that, well, there can be problem. <laughs> so uh, you have to be aware of that and uh, don't uh, <laughs> overheat your system. That's not good at all. The plan here is to trying to store all of my solar power for myself instead to send that out to the grid when my battery is charged. I mean, in the middle of summer, I don't really need heat, but in the beginning of spring and also in the late autumn, uh, there will still be a lot of energy from the sun and uh, therefore it's a good idea to heat that uh, water inside of this tank with that extra amount of power from the sun instead of just sending that out to the grid when the or if the energy prices are low or if we now have to pay money to get rid of the energy I mean who knows uh, okay then we just put our inverters on limit but anyhow you know what I mean it's always a good feeling to store your own energy and not just send that out if the prices are low. So uh, Home Assistant is controlling it and you have seen some graphs how I have uh, created the automations. Uh, yeah, not so much. I mean, they are just looking at the temperatures and starting the pumps at the right temps. That's pretty much it. And then when the temperature is going down again, the pumps is going to just shut down. Also via an automation, by the way. I have now one more thing that I am thinking about and that is to maybe connect a heat pump to this system because if you are sending one kilowatt in to a uh, heat pump you are uh, able to get four more for that one kilowatt you put in. If you heat the water up to I think 35 degrees or something. If you heat it up to maybe 50 or 55 you will only have around 2.8 kilowatt out of one kilowatt that you are putting in. The efficiency is always much better if you are able to having a lower temperature uh, in your tank. I am not able to have that low temperature because I am using just the normal radiators into my house. If I now uh, convert my system to floor heating then 35 degrees will be just fine and once every week or something I just heat the rest of the tank up from the electricity just to make sure that I don't have any legionella or something in the system. It's important to have that in your mind. All right guys, here we have it. It is working. And now I am going to take a shower. <laughs> Thank you so much guys for watching this one and uh, make sure to subscribe if you would like to see Maybe not more of this stuff, but I have some plans now to maybe change my battery out that I have in my garden to another one. More about that later. Thank you for today, guys. See you later. Have a great time.